Hello everybody and welcome to our show. This is Importations Thibaut TV, TTV. This week's review, we're going to introduce you to the brand new helmet from Scott Sports. It's the 350 Evo. For those of you that are already familiar with the Scott helmet line, you're going to recognize the title of the 350 from the 350 Pro, which is the 350 Evo's predecessor. So the previous model has finally been phased out and Scott has come together at the table to redesign a brand new 350 and they're introducing the 350 Evo. Out of that line, there are two categories of 350 Evo. There's the 350 Evo standard or just the 350 Evo and there is the 350 Evo Plus. Now what that means is the 350 Evo standard version is going to come with the cone head technology that we've always had in the 350 Pros from the years past. But in the 350 Evo Plus, there's the addition of MIPS. I'm not going to get into too many of the details of MIPS today because we've already gone into those details when we introduced you to the MX550 helmet that has the MIPS uh, technology within that helmet. So if you really are um, seeking more information about MIPS, I pr strongly recommend maybe to review one of our previous episodes. Um, for, for Importations Tebow in Canada, we're going to offer six colorways this year. So we've got a digital camo look with uh, three different colors, with the blue and uh, black and a uh, highlight of pink. We, as you see front and center on the table in front of me, there's the gray, gray and black with orange highlights, and then there's the light gray and mid gray with um, lime green. In, on the floor in front of me, there are three different models. Those are the Evo models, so you can recognize the graphic. Those are the ones that are going to have the MIPS technology uh, offered on that model. Now let's get quick into the, uh, the construction details of the 350 Evo. It's a polycarbonate. It's manufactured using two different shell sizes or two different molds, and it covers sizes from X small to 2X large. The interior is completely removable and machine washable like all other Scott helmets. It's got a antibacterial coating on it and it's hypoallergenic materials. Another aspect that you're going to notice about the uh, interior lining is that there's a color matched mesh along the uh, lining that matches each one of the graphics. So this is just a really nice little touch of class that they're offering to this helmet. The other thing that's really cool is that none of the screws that hold the visor in place are made of plastic. They're all alloy screws. So again, another premium sort of key touch in, in its construction. It's a D-ring fixed type strap. It's an ECE approved helmet. So it's good for any of our sanctioned body racing events here in North America. The peak is replaceable and there's an additional accessory to convert the helmet to winter use. Uh, sold separately, there's a breath box that you can install into that helmet. Offering an impressive ventilation, there's multiple ventilation traps, one on the chin bar, the forehead, and then large exhaust traps on the back of the helmet as well. If you're seeking any further information on the 350 Evo, you can refer to our catalog through our website. I'm glad you were able to join us on our review of the brand new Scott 350 Evo helmet. I hope you enjoyed it. Look out for further episodes. We're going to be coming up with some new stuff next week. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.